Hello guys, RZG here, and you're probably here for a tutorial on how to install my vanilla morph mod. So head over to mcedit.net and download mcedit if you don't have it already. So how do you get it? Select your OS and then your operating system. And yeah, installing is really easy and if you can't figure it out, then search it up on YouTube, it's really easy. Next what you need to do is install a mcedit schematic that I made myself. So what you need to do is go to my website, this will also be in the description, um, and yeah, download the vanilla morph mod. So click on it, you'll get this RAR file, I already have it, so that's why it's one, um, and open it. There will be a readme inside, and the readme just includes yeah um, how to install it too. Then open your NC edit folder wherever you located it, and yeah, sorry. This is how it looks like. This is how you start MC Edit. Just double click it. Then go to MC Edit Schematics and just drop it in there. As you see, I already have it, so I don't <laughs> drag it in, but you can just drag it in. And yeah, that's when you install it. After that, go to MC Edit and open a world. What you need to do is go to the Import button down here, click it, and search for the vanilla morph mod schematic. It will open and you will get this strange bedrock box. Um, and what you need to do is place it anywhere in your world where you want to the spawn chunks to be. So it will edit your spawn chunks, but let's say you can use the right click, by the way, to point it to your vision. So you can like go here. And if I want to place it right here, oh, then yeah, use the left click and it will place. And never press the rotate roll flip mirror or anything or something like that. Just press import. And we'll copy the blocks. The world will go red. Um, you'll probably get a little bit of lag. I don't know. Uh, let's wait for it. And then press Ctrl S or just go here and press save. It will save the chunks. And it will take a little bit of time, so do remember that. I'm getting like 1 of 4 FPS. <laughs> 1 of 5, yes. Um, yeah, it takes a little bit longer when I'm recording. There we go. And the world will turn red once again. And then just press close on the empty edit tab and press close. And there you go. A quick reminder for you guys is that you need to be at least in snapshot 14w11b, otherwise it won't work, or at least parts of it won't work. Um, yeah, and you get crashes and things like that. So yeah, just go to, you can go to, yeah, edit profile, and then enable experimental development versions, and then press snapshot 14w11b, save profile, and play. So when you start up your Minecraft world, find your box and go to the side with these two buttons on it. Use this button to start up the system. And use the other button to get your morph potion. Now, start killing your mobs. Drink your potion. Choose your morph. And you'll see that you'll get your effect you wanted. If you want to edit how many kills you need to get the given effect, break into the system in creative mode. And if you're on a server, you need to be up. Then go to this row of command blocks and click on one of them. And it'll say what the mob you need to kill, in this case it's zombie. And this number will indicate how many mobs of the same kind you need to kill to get the effect. So if I change this to 10, I need to kill 10 zombies to get my zombie uh, boost. Yeah, that's pretty much how to install it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!